Hi, hi, how are you today? Welcome to today's video. I'm Anne, you're on Scent Solutions. We're all about perfume, so that's the kind of content you like. You're in the right place. Returning subscribers, I love you all. If you're new on here, welcome on board. Today we're talking spring perfumes, and I have 10 for you. But the twist is that these are all vanilla-based perfumes. In some instances, vanilla is center stage. In some, it is just a backing note. But either way, there's the cozy, warm, sweet effect of vanilla in most of these perfumes. So let's get into it. I know that some of us are struggling with the transition from spring to or rather from winter to spring, especially my vanilla girls. And if you are looking for a perfume that can straddle uh, cold weather, you know, warmer weather, but still give you that vanilla goodness. These are 10 perfumes that I think you might like. I have something for everybody. I have some from some Middle Eastern houses as well. Let's get into it. I'm going to start today on a Zara note. So today we are looking at Zara Nui. This is a sweet powdery vanilla with musky undertones, some fruitiness on top, some florals in between that I suspect would be iris because, you know, it has that powderiness that the purple florals would typically be known for. So this is Zarnui. This is so sexy. It's a very nighttime appropriate perfume for spring. It's one that is not too cloying, but still gives you that vanilla sweetness and sexiness. I totally, totally enjoy this one. And I recommend this for springtime, nighttime specifically. All right, next up we have this from Afnan. Afnan is a Middle Eastern fragrance house. This perfume hit different one year later. I mean, I've always loved it, but one year after, with all the maceration, this is a banger. Guys, this is fruity, sweet orange blossom with some vanilla and some musk. Whew. There's some amber in here giving it depth and sexiness. There's some coconut, peach, and passion fruit that add a tropical twist to this. My goodness, this is a 10 over 10 and this one blossoms literally in spring weather so if you wanted something a bit more affordable from a middle eastern house this is ornament parfum by afnan this will remind you somewhat of olympia intense they have the same vibe they, they've even been mentioned this has been mentioned as a dupe for that perfume and i have a review of both on my channel you can check that out too but ornament parfum is a 10 over 10 orange blossom amber vanilla for spring it is absolutely stunning stunning guys very stunning and i love it over a year later as it's had time to really macerate and come into its own okay so let's get into this one from diptyque i have a travel size of this i got this when i traveled so i have quite a number of them in little travel sizes and it is lovely it's not everybody's cup of tea i will tell you up front this is diptyque tamdao this one is a spicy aromatic one for sandalwood lovers the main star of this show is sandalwood the vanilla here is more of a supporting note than in the forefront subtle way this is more of a skin scent very clean and fresh and absolutely unisex so anybody can pull this off it might even be a bit masculine leaning because of the woodiness and the spiciness because there's ginger and coriander in here but overall i feel like this is a very uh classy very chic perfume with vanilla warmth on the neat but really focusing on that woody spiciness i love this i love how it all comes together i feel like it's one of those ones that you wear to the office you wear when you don't really want to take over the room with your scent but you want to create a very clean very sexy very um, shake scent bubble around you. So that is Diptyque's Tam Dao. And I, I like it. I really do. I know it won't be everyone's cup of tea, especially if you're a fruity floral person, but it is one of our vanillas for today. Okay, next up, I have one from Nina Ricci. I love Nina Ricci. This is by Francisca John. 
uh, he's on this Francis Kirkjohn, obviously of the Bakar Rouge fame. Now, this is a the Narici Rose Extra. Sorry, I forgot to mention. It is a sweet, powdery rose vanilla. This is so, so yummy. Very feminine, very delectable. It has red berries. It's got raspberry. I love this so much because of how alluring I smell when I wear this one. This gets me so many compliments as well because it is just really delectable. If you're a rose girly and a vanilla girl and a fruity floral girl, this will be for you. It's very feminine, ultra feminine. The vanilla in here is like really sweet floral, makes for a great date night scent in spring. All right, next up, we're going to take one that is also by... Francis Kirkjean, but this time around, I have the dupe. It is Gentle Fluidity Gold, but this is Barakat Gentle Gold. Both very beautiful perfumes. Gentle Fluidity is your spicy, powdery, woody vanilla with the fruitiness of juniper berries. It is one of the most intoxicating, but gentle, subtle vanillas I have ever smelled. You know, so there's vanilla, musk, amber, some woody notes. The spices are nutmeg and coriander. This is such a sophisticated vanilla. And this blossoms in springtime. It is just at its best in that period. It's a very versatile perfume. It will immediately make you feel put together. So if you were looking for something to just tie up your look, this would be it, especially if you don't want to think too much. Gentle Fluidity Gold is one of those vanillas that, you know, it doesn't go into the foody gourmand direction. It just stays at that cusp of being gourmand and spicy and floral. It's a very fantastic perfume and it is one of the best vanillas ever, if you ask me. Next up, I have one that also... <sighs> this perfume, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually did a video on my channel of this one and I totally disliked it. Totally disliked it. For the life of me, I couldn't understand what was going on in here. And it surprised me almost a year later. This perfume, I, I smelled it like a week or two ago when I was putting together my thoughts for this content. And I was like, what? This is a soft, a musky vanilla. And I now get the tangy citrus. So the, the change was really dramatic, to be honest. I get the tanginess of that citrus opening. There's some clementines or clementines in here in the opening. And it gives it a tangy sweetness. There's a floral mid. I couldn't discern the floral, but it gives you magnolia gardenia vibes, of which when I check the notes, there's actually, I think, um, no, I think it's magnolia in here. Yeah. It's clean. It's fresh. The issue I had with it initially was that it smelled a little too soapy, but I think as it macerates, the soapiness goes down and it just leaves you with a clean, musky vanilla with that citrusy. It's becoming more wearable for me. I was going to declutter, but at this rate, I don't think I would. I think this is one for daytime, spring. You know, it's one of those ones that I would wear, you know, to the office. Like if I were going out to a garden event in spring, I feel like it would just give you that clean, put together, very classy, um, scent without overtaking the room. That's what this is for. If you like a musky perfume, if you're into musks, this is definitely a good one for you for spring. Okay, just following in that direction would be um, Yara by Latafa. <laughs> this is so polarizing. People have, you know, very different views about this one. So to me, I feel like Yara is... Mont Blanc Signature. I'm not even sure if I mentioned the name. If I didn't, this is Mont Blanc Signature. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Yara by Latafa is, is a strawberry milkshake version of Mont Blanc Signature. So imagine that Mont Blanc Signature had a, a flanker. This would be it. So this is more 
still musky and all that with the vanilla, but then add a sweet gourmand touch with some fruitiness. So there's strawberries, there's a sweet citrus in here. It's really beautiful. Very beautiful. Again, for the musky vanilla lover who wants a fruity touch, perfect. And it's perfect for springtime as well because it's going to give you that life-giving fruity kick. Okay, now we're going into Ariana Grande. Mud Vanilla. <laughs> I love this bottle design. It is so eclectic. I like it. This is a very musky, soft vanilla. Again, we're talking muskiness here. Soft vanilla that gives me a slight Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe. So you see that dentist office medicinal aspect of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's in here, but it's more paired down. So it's not as intense as it is in BR540, but I kind of sense it in the background here. It lives in this perfume at a lower scale. It is airy, soft, marshmallowy with a slight sweetness, you know, from that plum praline freesia. You'll get the, the, the sweet hint, but it's not syrupy. It's just a slight sweetness in addition to that airy, musky vanilla vibe. I think this is a beautiful perfume and it's one that is quite intoxicating because you don't see it coming. You spray it and then you keep getting whiffs of it, especially when the wind blows and it's it's so perfect. This is so perfect for day to nighttime wear in the springtime. I think you can wear this anytime. It's such a clean, beautiful, inoffensive perfume. Okay, now we're coming into YSL territory with YSL's cinema. And to me, this is one of the classiest perfumes ever designed. I don't think it gets the love that I feel like it should. And a number of my subscribers have told me that this is actually still in production. I thought it was discontinued, but in some countries, it's actually in production. In fact, recently, someone told me that in the UK... They were able to find this. So it's not discontinued. It's actually in production. If you like a citrus vanilla, this is for you. It is a stunning perfume. It's got lots of florals, pink and white. So there's peony, jasmine, almond blossom in here. So to give it that floral edge. But like I can, I can imagine your top Hollywood stars, you know, of the 90s and 80s <laughs> coming out of their limos smelling of YSL cinema. Yes, it is that good. And I feel like it's good for spring because it has, you know, that citrusiness and everything, but it's not a cloying perfume. It's very good for any weather, in my opinion. And I think it's great for spring. Okay, next up we have this one from... Yves Rocher. I'm getting into Yves Rocher fragrances. I just unboxed this. If you watch the shorts um, on my channel, it is my vanilla garden. And this is a greenish vanilla background. That's what this smells like. I'm still getting into it, but I really like it at first sniff. So yeah, I feel like it's perfect for spring as well because it's not heavy. This is an EDT. Yeah, so it's not heavy. It's really perfect for spring, but you have to be into the greener types of vanillas. So there you have it, guys. 10 suggestions for you if you are looking for a springtime, sorry about that, a springtime vanilla perfume. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have any springtime vanilla recommendations? Until I talk to you on another video, enjoy the rest of your day or night and see ya. Bye.